Hey there, podcasters! Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to another podcast, episode 30, and the last Dr. Sheep podcast. But not the last Ever. podcast. But not the last podcast. We'll explain that in the later segment of the show. These podcasts are broken down into four parts. First, we talk about our weeks. Then we talk about the news, specifically the coronavirus news. Then we talk about your comments, the future of the channel, and then finally... We talk about some more news, or today we have a philosophical question slash just a thing we wanted to talk about. Yes. Anyways, so you, I wanted to tell a story before, you I, you want, you asked me a question before the podcast, and I was like, this is a perfect podcast material. Oh, we're so, talking about this right now? Yes. Oh, I thought this was at the end. No, 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 we did this at the beginning now, remember? Oh. Do you not remember Podcast 29? Okay. Honestly, how long Podcast 29 was, I thought you remember. Okay, so I'll bring up the question. The no, 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 not that one. Oh. The one where I had a story about it. Oh, oh, that. Oh, how our weeks have been going? Yeah, and you said you had a story about bad breath. Right, and you said that you, you ever had that moment where it just feels like your breath is bad? Yeah, and I was like, I just need to go brush my teeth. Well, I, back in, I think it was a freshman year? Freshman year, or maybe sophomore year of high school. Um, so we were making dishes and food, in foods class, and you don't call it FCS, call it foods class. Because no, all we did was food. Oh, there was no consumer sciences. It was just food. Oh really? Cooking. Yeah. Call it cooking class. Uh, <laughs> it was more of food science, if anything, because we learned science. about uh, all the. Uh, Stupid things that go into vegetables, all the phyto, uh, all the phyto stuff. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. Anyways, oh, I didn't so do very do well on this. Huh? Screws it over. Yes. I didn't do very well on that test. Okay. Anyways, um, I remember we made a dish with <clears throat> green onions in them. And I don't like green onions. Okay. But, I, like, I mean, I guess they kind of taste like ranch. I like green onions, but I get it. Some people don't. But, like... It was a really powerful, like, whew, all right. And yeah. I'm like, we're eating. And I'm like, okay, it tastes okay, but, like, this is really powerful green onion. So then for the rest of the day, I I was, like, talking like this because I was afraid that I could just, mm -hmm. and it was just going to hit them with green onion, with just onion. And they'd just be like, oh, dude. I'm like, Yeah. Sorry. So, like, I think the next week we did another dish with, like, onion. And I <laughs> finally went to Walmart with my parents, because you know, I couldn't drive back then, and got some uh, Lifesaver mints. Well, and, you know, I had them in my bag. Well, then they then we never made a dish ever again with anything, like, <laughs> aromatic. <laughs> I think we did, like, maybe one time. Yeah. That, but it wasn't as bad as, like, that green Never onion. again. That dish with the, the green The one onion. time you needed a mint. The two times I needed a mint. Mm -hmm. didn't ha I didn't have any, and I never need them ever again. <laughs> oh. Now I just, I have mints in my truck every time I go to work. Yeah. Because if I don't brush my teeth before I go to work, I pop a mint. Sure. Because sometimes you brush your teeth in the morning, well, now you just eat lunch, and then you're going to work. Well, jeez, I'm not going to brush three times in one day. I mean, you can. You shouldn't. What? You're only should... supposed to brush two times a day, otherwise you brush the enamel away. Oh, well, I mean, when I had braces, they told me to brush every time you eat, regardless of whether or not it's a snack. I mean, that's a different situation. I mean, but then again, braces do cover the majority of your teeth. So, I mean, whatever enamel is there, it's, like, it's covered to an extent. Yeah. And, honestly, you can't brush very hard with braces anyways, can you? Not for the first two, uh, for the first two or three days. After, after, like, the first, you know, by the fourth day or whatever, but like you, you start to be able to brush normal. But, I mean, like, really, like, because, yes. like, some people, like, yes. really brush really hard, and it wears their enamel. You can't. I have actually brushed so hard that the bristles have actually gotten stuck in the braces. Like it pulled it out. Like, you know, you brush and, they, and the... Then you have to go in with tweezers and what, pull them out? Well, no, you can just pluck it out. I'm just saying, though, like, by the fourth day, you're going... I'm so glad I never had to deal with that. I might have to in the future, huh, on teeth. Oh, yeah, I see that. But that's like... But... <clears throat> like my brother. His bottom teeth are... Are rough. 
Really? It's like nobody sees the bottom teeth. I'm like, but I'm like, dude, but those are bad. Really? Yeah. Next time you see him, I guess it's gonna be a little hard for you to look him up like this. <laughs> True. I mean, next time you're like at the dinner till, look at his bottom teeth. They're, they don't look good. They're rough. I'm like, why did you fix that? I was like, well, you can't see him in pictures. And I'm like, yeah, but you look like a hillbilly. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm like, I told the dentist, like, next time with the dentist, after that, I told him, like, listen, you know my brother, right? He's like, yeah, don't let my bottom teeth look like that. If they, <laughs> if you think they're going to start looking like that, we're getting me a clear liner. He's like, all right. All right. You need to get a night guard so your teeth don't shift during the middle of the night. I thought I had that problem when it, back when my jaw hurt. See, I kind of wish I had one for my bottom teeth because I don't know, like maybe within 20 years, my bottom teeth might start to shift. I mean, my top teeth look fine because I have the same guard that I had when I first got my braces taken off and it still fits, which means my teeth have shifted hardly any since I got my braces off. Uh, you, you, oh, a night guard so my teeth don't shift. So they don't shift during the night. I should. That's usually when your teeth will shift is during the night, you know? That's a good point. Maybe I'll ask. And I kind of wish, I, but I don't have one for the bottom teeth. Just one for the top. Maybe I should ask about that. But see, my teeth look pretty good, I think. I mean, they look better than mine. Yeah. Except yours are a lot tighter together. Mine have a lot more gaps between them. Yeah. Do you floss? I have started to. Because when I went to the dentist, they said, you need to floss some more. Because yeah, I guess I had, a, I had a, like some plaque buildup or whatever. They always tell you to floss more. It, it, makes, floss. it makes their life easier. I get it. it. It makes their life easier when they go to clean your teeth if you floss. Because I, they, have, cause they have all this plaque or whatever that gets build that builds up around the gums. I'm starting to think the dentists have come up with like some new excuses to get people to floss. Because they've gotten me to floss. They're getting you to floss. They got Rooster to floss. <laughs> I'm like, geez, the dentists are like... Making kills, Wait, getting so people to floss. How, do you genuinely floss every day? Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, ever since that jaw thing, I floss every day. Other jaw than when thing. I, I uh, yeah, remember when my jaw was like freaking hurt for like three months? Oh, maybe. And then I like died during Thanksgiving and it went away. <laughs> because like Thanksgiving was great because hey, my jaw doesn't hurt anymore. Like, great. But like the next day, I'm like, I am dying. I didn't go. I like. I I called in the sick for the first time ever. Yeah. And I was and like, it was Black Friday. I couldn't call in sick Black Friday, but Black Friday was like the worst day possible to go to work. I was dying. They're like, oh, we'd just be walking around, and I'd just be, I just hunch over, and the yeah. guy's like, you out of breath, and I'm like, no, I'm sick. I'm currently dying right now. And he's like, well, what oh. hap What did happen to your jaw though? Oh, they just said I must have like pinched a nerve or slept on it wrong and then it just processed for like three weeks i, I sprained my jaw you sprained oh, oh, your whoopsie jaw da whoopsie daisy there what i'm the one slipping stuff now what i said you... some shh oh oh and I, we're gonna have to put you on probation <laughs> this is my show <laughs> you can't put me on probation this is my show <laughs> the show will be put on probation <laughs> The, yeah, <laughs> we can't do that. This is one of the more popular shows. The parts have started to do better. Some of the parts do better than the normal podcast. Really? Yes. Like, whatever gets uploaded on, like, Thursday or Wednesday does really well. People go specifically to, like, a certain part? Yeah. Like, what, like, what, let me look at the thing here. Like, what, Thursdays or, like, Wednesday did really well? Yeah, yeah, they both did really well. Like, this one did five, that one did four. Can, am I getting the Galaxy S20 Ultra? Can I, can math help What are these dating? views? Five views? Four yeah. views? Oh. These puny numbers. The, the, single digits. Hey, watch it next time. <laughs> You're going to be on probation like Will. Oh, sh We're all on probation now. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyways. No, but like, but the normal podcast says six... There's no views on this one. Hey, guys, if you're watching, please go watch uh, I Matched With Who on Tinder. It's got, I, uh, it's got, uh, oh, that's water. I'm like, what, what's going on down here? It's water. Okay. water. I, I spilled mine. Uh, yeah, uh, it's got uh, Pokimane on it. I figured that clickbait would work, but it didn't, unfortunately. But the regular video has eight views. Now, granted, two of those are mine. 
The rest are like normal views. So. Yeah. I sent it into Cody's lap. He didn't respond yet. I'm hoping he, but he is out on uh, Chicken Hole Base. You know, that's his property out in the chicken middle. Chicken Hole Base. Yeah, that's his property out in the middle of nowhere where he's trying to replicate Mars. He lives in giant tubes. Okay. I'll, I'll have to. I'll we'll have to watch it sometime. Yes. I like the series. It's a good series. No, yeah. is it? Yes, because he's gonna like live inside. He's gonna live underground and live in like uh, these giant uh, tubes. Yeah, no, just giant uh, tanks that he's gonna put greenhouses in. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to do this. Yeah. Guys, if you subscribe, I can, we can be like Cody's lab. Actually, if you subscribe, we can just go out and meet Cody's lab. <laughs> we can just go meet Cody Don. Well, did you ever get a response, an email? Well, I like I said, I just sent the email yesterday. But, again, he's out at Chicken Hole Base, which is in the middle of nowhere. Oh. So, it might take him a little bit. And he's been busy. He's been busy. Working on the base. Fair enough. So, I mean, he could respond today. Like, I think the last one, he responded at, like, 11 o'clock at night. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see. But, like, I've been watching the views, because if I get any extra view, I'm like, well, it's probably him. Yeah. Because it's past the first day, the only other views are going to be me, or maybe something random happens. It's unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, the dentists, they're, 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 they're taking kills, getting people to floss. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Does Kyle floss? I'm going to be honest with you. You don't think he brushes? I have never seen him brush his teeth. I've seen him brush his teeth. Really? When? What, I guess when we were like kids and we had sleepovers. Yes. Since then, and over the past year, I have never seen him brush his teeth. We also didn't live here for like four months. Yeah, but on the weekends though, he came uh, over every weekend. I have never seen him brush his teeth. I mean, you'll find out next time he goes to the dentist if he has cavities. I mean, I don't. his teeth look fine. And he tells me he brushes his teeth, but I don't think he brushes them at night before he goes to bed. I think he brushes them in the morning, and then that's all he does. But that's what the one... T it's like, I brush every night, but I don't brush every morning sometimes. Sometimes I forget, sometimes no, I No, no, I think he just brushes in the morning. How? I That's weird. That That's foreign to me, because I only brush at night sometimes. Yes. And sometimes I'm too lazy, I don't brush at all at night. Or no, I don't floss at night now. Sometimes. And I'll just floss in the morning. I'll just floss twice that day. Mm -hmm. Although this summer, if I don't have any place to go, and I'm not doing anything, I might get really lazy. I might not do anything. I, I don't even... I might not even shower. What? I did during Christmas vacation. I didn't shower for like a day. Oh, like a day? Two, for, no, I, I, guess a it was day? Like, I guess it was like two days. I got a week. Because I showered one morning. Didn't shower the next day at all, and then showered the next morning because I had. Work. Oh, it's weak. I've gone like a week. Why did you go a week without showering? I didn't have anywhere to go. I was at home like for a several day weekend break or whatever from work and school or whatever. It was like, well, I guess I'm in the house. No need to take a shower, right? Last time I did it, like I used to just take. Yeah, shower is such a weird thing. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. But then you get in there. You don't want to get out. Yeah, and then you get in there and you start cleaning. It's like, I feel so fresh now. But you don't want to get out. No, nah, well, that's only if you, like, start to enjoy the hot water. And then it, when it gets cold, then you're just like, all right, it's time to get out. I don't, I have a hard time forcing myself to get out of the shower sometimes. Yeah? Because it's like, I don't have to do anything. I can just stand here and just, like, you know, let the water enjoy run Enjoy the me. hot water. Think. Think. Yeah, I do do some thinking in the shower. Yeah, I always do my thinking. How long of a shower do you typically take? 20 minutes? 30 yeah, minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. My roommates hate me. <laughs> Why, you take all the hot water? No, I'm in there for like 20 minutes. Like, the hell are you doing in there? I'm like, do oh, you know. But like, what pisses me off, there was one morning, they don't believe me. But like, one morning, they each took up a shower, and then I got in the shower, and it was cold, and they're like, Oh, bull crap. You're, you're in the shower forever. No wonder it was cold. And I'm like, I literally had to turn all the way to the left, which is completely hot. Mm -hmm. And it was barely warm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm like, bull crap. You guys use up all hot water that morning. It happens when you live in a house of eight. Basically. Oh, no. I remember Rooster even said the hot water heater was new. It's mm -hmm. not new. And it also explains why it goes. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> Although, ever since I. Ever, <laughs> but, like, I've kind of. I've become deaf to it. I don't hear it anymore. Really? Like, I'll hear it once in a while when it's a really loud one. But otherwise, like, I've completely just. It doesn't even cross my mind. The air conditioner, or the heater, I guess, still, it's st I still hear it. And it mm -hmm. still bugs the crap out of me. Because it's like, you're you're running, but I'm not warmer. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so how was your week? Uh, I think it was good. Let's see. Anything bad happen? I don't think anything bad happened. I mean, Lent started. Oh, yeah, Lent did start. Do you have anything up? Uh, I'm going to try to reduce my non-productive computer time for specific hours of the day. It's like usually between like 5 and 7 o'clock at, in the, at night or whatever. As soon as I come home from school or whatever, it's just like... That's when I'm the least productive mm. in terms of school. So I'm going to try, attempt... To make those hours the most productive, homework time. I uh, I said that's I, my goal. I said I'd stop uh, turning stuff in the day it's due. It yeah, might I don't know if that'll ever not happen. I mean, I have an assignment for Spanish due tomorrow. I haven't started. So well, I mean, it doesn't matter for you. You're going to do it tomorrow, no matter what. Exactly. If you don't, you don't, you're going to have it done it today or yesterday. Yeah. Actually, I had an assignment, uh, yeah, so yesterday, I had a 600-word Spanish essay due. Mm -hmm. I started it Thursday. Got about 100 words, 150 words done. And then I got the rest of the 500-some-odd words all typed over the, within maybe three hours, four hours. Is it a 600-word minimum? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. 600 words minimum. I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was one of those professors like 600 words. No more, no less. No, 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 no. You can write more. But you have to write at least 600 to get full credit for that portion of the rubric. You poor fools in taking Spanish. Poor Kyle takes Spanish. Yeah, why don't you? I don't have to. Yeah, but like it could be beneficial. No. I have actually had a few instances at High V where I've had people ask me a question in Spanish because they didn't speak English. I mean, I've had people at my work ask me in Spanish. Really? But then we have a good laugh at my crappy Spanish. But did you actually like respond with anything? Well, they start talking to me. I'm like, uh, no hablo uh, español, <laughs> and 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 you know we're talking because I get somebody to actually translate. And I'm like, yeah, the only thing I can really say is yo no comprendo español, and me, and the other and this guy just starts talking. I'm like, yeah, see, you know, we're getting a good laugh out of this. <laughs> we we start laughing and giggling about it. Yeah. I like I like the Hispanics. They're fun. Yeah. We have a fun time. They we always. But no. you just can't understand them. Even when, we no. have a fun time well, laughing no, no, no. about no, me. Even the ones that speak perfect English, they're always just kind of a fun and go lucky kind of people. Yeah. Except when they have their kids there. Although when there's any kids there at, at, at work, I'm just like, please take your kids home. Why are they here? Please, I don't want to deal with this. Jeez, I'm gonna be a fun uncle. No, like, I like kids. <laughs> I just don't like dealing with kids as I'm trying to work. Oh, fair enough. It's like, jeez. Because they, like, they say something to you, and you're like, I don't know to respond to you because I don't want to feel like a pedophile, so go away. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what crosses your mind? Like, I don't know what to but say see, when say to you thing is, because though, I might come across as a pedophile. But the problem is, but see, the problem with, is, though, like, kids like me. I don't know why, but, like, kids are just, like, drawn to me. 
Because you think like one. I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. And so, like, I could sustain a conversation with a kid. Now, I might yeah. not understand half the crap they're saying. Yeah, your intellect isn't quite that high, but... No, shut up. Screw you. No, no, no. Because, you know, they, they talk so fast and they, you know, they mumble things together. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. You know. I mean, you practically speak I, their language, though. Anyways... But, like, it's weird. You can sustain a full con- I can sustain a conversation. Most people are like, how the hell? And I'm like, I I'm don't know. In chi- I I'm, don't like I'm it. I'm fluent with children. I don't like it. I think like them. I act like them. I'm practically one of them. Hey, it's good to stay young. <laughs> but, like, children are just drawn to me. Like, I, I convinced a bunch of kids You're a pedophile back home. magnet. I knew it. But no, I was in a was it junior <laughs> or senior in high school. We we're at the petting. We we're at a petting zoo. Yeah, the pet. Oh, oh, we, petting no, zoo. Was, we were pedophile zoo. <laughs> we, had we were a pedophile. Uh, zoo. We were running in a petting zoo, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I was on a rolling chair. And this okay. kid and these kid and these kids start pushing me, and I'm these like, kiddos. "Hey, you guys want to push my chair?" And like they all kind of talk to her. I had like ten kids pushing my chair at one point. <laughs> I like take me over here. They push me across the shop yeah. floor. Oh, we just had the time of our lives. The teachers gave me this look, and I'm like, hey, I got them to do something productive, so. <laughs> Which is push me around in my chair. Everybody's like. My chair. Like, you're you a have ch- your chair. Well, in my. The chair I was in. And they're like, what is your. You are a child. And I'm like, I don't know. The kids just like me. But it's always been that way. Yeah. No, like I said, you think like them, you act like them, you practically are one of them. Whatever. Anyways. It's also the weirdest thing, where you can just, like... There are certain, like... So... I've never... I've been, like, one per, un- one girl. Where I can just... I, I, start, I start a conversation, and we, like... We talk all the time, and we're, fr- or we're friends. Otherwise, it's mostly only guys. I can just be like, make a joke, and then we all kind of go with the jokes, and we start talking, and then we're bull crapping, mm-hmm. you know, or or for a while, and it's, this is in class or whatever. Yeah. Where we're, I can't do it with women. They don't like my jokes. Really? I don't know. Or maybe they do, but they don't. They don't want to spark a conversation. Well, I guess the girl that sits behind me in my resource <laughs> economics class, we get a good laugh together sometimes. Yeah. No, like I told you, I mean, there's a few girls at my work that, you know, I'll say something or whatever, make some smart <laughs> comment or whatever, and that usually gets them talking. That's three times now I'll be able to edit. All right. All right. Uh, s- smart Alec comment or whatever. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. I, I, I make some comment or whatever, some joke or whatever. You know, sometimes there'll be a way to tease them slightly or whatever, and that usually gets them talking. Well, that's how you. That's how you just. That's how you just interact with them. You're just like, you like yes, jazz. But <laughs> yes, but no, you make it sound like you make a comment or whatever, and and like. Oh, I do comedic reviews of my professors. Yeah. I'll be sitting there, and, and the professor will say something. And I'll go over something. And I'm like, yeah, what about this? And they're just like, Psh. and they, like, like this professor will say something, and I'm like. Yeah, but and, and I'll say it to my to the person next to me, and we'll get a good laugh. Sometimes I say it straight to the professor. I'm like, "What about this, though?" And they're just like, "Ah, yes," because oh, yes. sometimes uh, I think the professors think I'm really smart, but in reality, I'm just the only person willing to open their mouth. Oh yeah, actually, I I, I pissed off one of my professors. Oh so, so we're sitting there in class, and. Uh, we're going over stuff I know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, so I didn't care. And, yeah. I, and I just went and got help from my international trade professor. So okay. I was working on her homework. Yeah. So I'm sitting there working on it. And the professor asked a question. Well, nobody makes, nobody asks. So I'm like, huh? So I look up and go, huh? And she's like, oh, you're not even paying attention. You're working on other stuff. I'm like, but I know the answer. <laughs> she's like, anybody else? And she got really mad. She's like, you know, what is that? I'm like, International Trade 420. She's like, I know. I know that professor. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I saw you. you, you I saw you come in as I was getting help. You, you're, you're, next to, you're next to each other. But she was really mad that I was working on this other professor's homework. So I stopped. And then I went after class and I apologized to her. But she's like, 
I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to get you points taken off of that. I'm like, please don't. <laughs> I, th I don't think she was really serious, but she was pretty, she was pretty irritated pissed. by the fact that I was working on homework. But, like, I sat This through... was a recitation? Or what was no, it? resource economics. What is it? Like a lecture? Environmental. Yeah, lecture. And you're working on homework in a lecture class? But, see, it's the same lecture I've had multiple times. Because... My Boy, you've kept failing this class? No, I because I've taken environmental law. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about pollution, it's the same stuff. Public policy, when you go over pollution policy. So I've gone over, I've taken normal law, where we did go over some pollution stuff. Mm -hmm. I've taken ag, uh, econ, uh, ag, 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 ag policy. That class had the same stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, I've had several, several classes now where it's the same thing. So it's like, it's just another class. But the problem is, though, it's a two, it's a 200 level class. She treats it like a 300, but it's a 200 level class. So it's like, I, I, I'm taking 400 level classes and 300 level classes. So yeah, I should know the material. And I yeah. do. That's good. You just should learn when to uh, work on your homework. No, I'm like, I'm never bring a homework in her class again. Or if there is homework, I'm going to do it on my laptop so it's like I'm taking notes. <laughs> yep, yep, there's the... Or to never just look up and go, ha, huh? ever again. Ha, <laughs> 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 Oh, my, oh, my econ professor. Okay, last story before we move on to the news. Yeah. My econ, because we've been doing this for like a half hour. The econ professor one day... I did the same thing. I like, like, went, hey. Huh? And the guy's like, ah, oh, yes, you, says my name. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, uh, and I'm thinking he's like, you know, kind of easing me in the answer. I'm like, oh, yeah, it'd be this. And I ramble off the answer. He's like, oh, good, good, good. And I'm like, all right. Hey. Well, the worst part is in class yeah. where I'm like, not sure, and I'll say an answer. And the professor's like, yes, go on. And I'm like, but I'm not sure. But just go on. So I say it. I'm like, yes, you're correct. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was completely guessing, but all right. And the president Economics looked, is second nature for you. Is this macro? This is micro. Well, this is micro. I couldn't do that in macro. <laughs> I can do it in micro. I can't do it in macro. Macro, macro is the I hard had one. to pay attention. Are you in macro right now? I'm in micro. Or in micro. Micro is a piece of cake. Cakewalk? So far, yeah. Really? Hasn't been that bad. Well, what's your hardest class right now? Or do you have... Uh, do you International have trade. International trade. What makes that so difficult? It's uh, it's a whole ordeal. It's just you have to like in normal like when when you learn the basics, it's pretty easy opportunity cost and comparative advantages. Yeah. But like when you start going in depth with it, like what we're doing, and like a VR uh, price deficiency. Uh, you're just like, all right, well, and then you have to like f figure out what the graph would look like. Oh, so it's a lot of like data analysis and stuff. No, it's no? it's theory. Theory. It's like if the price goes, if if a country applies a tariff, which is like the first thing you learn, if a country applies a two dollar tariff, because so the world price is two dollars. Their equilibrium price in the country is five dollars. So the country applies a two dollar tariff to bring the equal to bring the equilibrium price of the country up to five dollars to bring up consumer surplus. Mm -hmm. But it, that also shrinks uh, consumer surplus, and then you have deadweight loss and government revenue. I see. All that was gibberish to you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of dozed off. Yeah. Anyways, I have no idea where that went. Time to move on to our next segment. 